Hey guys, so the day has finally come. Tomorrow we head to Guadalupe to do some scuba diving with Great Whites. Well, when I say scuba diving, I actually mean cage diving. We're going to be cage diving with the Great Whites. We are heading out on the Socorro Vortex liverboard, heading out for Scuba Diver magazine. So excited that we've yeah. got this opportunity. Literally, it's like a dream come true. It's a bucket list trip. Total bucket list yeah. trip. Honestly, can't, can't wait. Um, not really sure what to expect, so we're trying to keep our expectations low. Yeah, um, we've watched a few videos on YouTube, so we, we kind of have an idea of what it could be like, but um, obviously we don't know whether that's just lucky or um, how close they'll be. We just no. don't really know. We know we're going to see a great white or some. Fingers crossed. I just don't know <laughs> how many. I don't know how often. I don't know how close they're going to no. come. Got no idea what the visibility is going to be like. I'm just praying that the shark gods are on yes. our side and that we're going to get lucky. <laughs> I'm taking my my great white embroidered shark cat with me. That's going to be my lucky charm for the week. <laughs> but yeah, just really excited and uh, looking forward to getting yeah. out there. Yeah, we just want to wish we could click our fingers and be there because as with most places that are bucket list trips they're a long long way away um but really excited like richard said and um, just just want to get there get in the water and uh and see the sharks definitely but it's getting <laughs> late in the evening now we're going to try and uh vlog this whole trip so you get an idea of the boat and the shark so really hope you enjoy it but it's getting late into the evening i need to go and uh, trim my beard because i'm looking a little <laughs> bit hairy and I need to go and finish packing. Yeah, always leaves it to the last minute. I'm last minute, Larry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll speak to you guys in a bit. Yep. Cheers. Bye. On our way to Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, no. We're going to start again. <laughs> We're going to Los Angeles. And, and then, then on to San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> then on to Guadalupe, which is very exciting. We are currently sat in LAX airport waiting to get on. A final flight from here to San Diego and then we can go to bed and then tomorrow we get on a bus. Shark bus. We get on a shark bus. <laughs> um, when do you see the shark bus? Well it's not gonna have a shark on it. It is. You're gonna be disappointed. It's gonna have a shark on the side. Do you know that there's a shark? I bet you there's a shark on the side. Okay. I <laughs> bet you guys there's a shark on it tomorrow. We'll see. Um then we drive to Mexico and then we get on the Socorro Vortex tomorrow to go to Guadalupe. <laughs> then we'll see some sharks. We hope. We will. Very We're excited. Very, we are very excited. It's a short trip, but it'll be a good one. I just want to go to sleep now. <laughs> I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you've eaten so many Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, packet of strawberry laces things. Pack. He's going to be fun on the plane. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're in San Diego now. Haley hasn't actually uh, grown. She's standing on a hey, step because uh, because, height because I couldn't get her in the same <laughs> shot as me. But uh, yeah, fly out was great. Obviously we flew from uh, Heathrow out to um, LA. We had a short stop in LA and then we flew to San Diego last night. We're standing at the Hampton Inn, which is on the Pacific Highway, which is the hotel that the uh, Pelagic Fleet um, that obviously run the Socorro Vortex, it's their preferred hotel. So we actually stayed there last night. We had a, a quick bite to eat out in um, San Diego town. It was great. There's a little area called Little Italy. So there's a big Italian community here. Amazing food, really great vibe, beautiful yeah, evening. Uh, we woke up to an absolutely stunning morning in San Diego. Um, we travel a lot around the world. And I never thought I'd say this, but this is probably one of my favourite places that I think I'd want to live. <laughs> been here eight hours. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, all we've, all we've done is we've landed, gone out for a, an evening meal and, uh, and woke up this morning. That's what it takes, sun But and food. Uh, it's just, uh, it's got a really beautiful vibe to it. Um, it's a beautiful sort of harbour area that you can see behind us. Some old submarines, some big cruise ships, sail ships. Um, behind me, if I pan around without Hayley falling over. <laughs> Doing a balancing <laughs> it's just, act. Uh, it's just a really cool vibe here. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the hotel. Uh, we're getting picked up in about an hour's time. Um, it's some really weird dude singing as he walks by, but uh, 
Um, he might think we're, like we're, gonna, we're gonna head back to the hotel shortly. We're getting picked up at 10 o'clock um, by the um, Pelagic Fleet guys um, getting on the shark bus. I'm pretty sure there's a great white <laughs> shark on the side of the bus, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, but we're gonna get on that bus, head down through to Mexico into Enscada, I think it is. I could be wrong. And then we got the boat journey out to Guadalupe. So we will be in the cage with the Great White Samara. Very, very excited about that. Oh, oh. Uh, I Fail. nearly, Fail. nearly <laughs> fell in the water. So <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna disappear, and uh, we will speak to you guys in a little bit. See ya. See ya. So just got back to the hotel to go and grab our bags, and the bus is here. The shark bus is here. Wait, if I can get Haley, Haley's getting eaten by the shark. <laughs> How cool is that? Now that is a bus. <laughs> we just stopped at this amazing spot on the way. Look at the view, it's incredible. So if you come and do this trip, you need to make sure that they stop here just for that view. takes you to the luxury state rooms. I'm not sure what happens when you go up there. Find out later. I climbed. Aren't you so proud of me? I climbed all the way up there. I was so proud of you. <laughs> so you put the stairs in? Yeah, we put the stairs every like ah. there were so many things that weren't here. Oh this is new. Oh wow. New. Such an impressive boat. Oh these are the cages. <laughs> I've only just realized. <laughs> Nice features. <laughs> They're the cages, Haley. <laughs> yeah, this is it all makes sense now. Yeah, know, right? It's huge. I know. Yeah, it is. How many people can you get in there? I mean, probably like six. Wow, that's massive. Okay, that's going to be on. Hey guys, so we're all boarded on the boat now. We uh, boarded the boat at Ensenada. Uh, done all our security checks and sort of all our dive gear out so we're now well underway as you could probably tell from me rocking a little bit on on video but i'm going to give you a quick look around the boat we'll start off with our room this is the room that we've got um for whoa i'm on the door that's myself and hayley this is the room that we've got lovely little cabin it's got a lovely altar on the wall uh, lovely bed our own little Beautiful shower area. There I am. Hello. Uh, there's a bathroom there. There's a shower just behind the door. There we go. There's a shower. So yeah, it's very nice. Very, very plush. I mean, we've done a lot of liverboards over the years. A number of liverboards, um, all different parts of the world. But this, this is different gravy. Seriously, this is absolutely. Absolutely top class. So I'm gonna just go sort of main corridor here. We've got a few different. Uh, these are all rooms, people's people's cabins. It's gonna take you up the stairs. So hello, hey, there we go. Look at these guys. It's a little seating area, the galley. Here we've got the uh, got the little bar area. So I'll 
obviously we're moving at the moment, so a lot of the drinks and bottles are all packed away. Uh, but you can help yourself here. There's plenty, plenty to drink. Um, premium brands, beers, spirits, all fantastic. And then here we've got the uh, little lounge area. So we've got the TV on the wall, huge TV. Uh, lots of sofas. So the table's been turned uh, upside down just obviously because we're, we're on the move at the moment. Here you've got all the camera stations. So this is where all that kit will be. Uh, camera kit will be ready to go. So the house is down there ready to go. So let's take you outside. Covered table area here, which is all very nice. And I'm going to take you up to the top deck where the uh, cages are being stored. So we're now heading up to the top deck, which is where you'll find the jacuzzi. The all important jacuzzi. Obviously, the, the cages for uh, our wheat adventures. So the two black cases are the cages are the uh, surface cages, since they've stepped down into them. And then this one, the silver one, is the cage, which is the submersible cage. So this will hang at 10 meters. 30 feet and the other two are your surface cages so they sit literally just underneath the surface and there's our group of merry travellers for the week a lovely bunch of Americans everywhere I can't remember got all these this crazy crew we've got Andy here who's our Swiss we've got Matea who's our Croatian and a rest of our bunch of happy Americans. <laughs> That's my surfer dude. Yeah. <laughs> the Americans. We are now in Guadalupe. We left Ensenada at around 3 p.m. on the Sunday afternoon and we have arrived in Guadalupe at 6.30 this morning. Look at that for a sunrise coming up behind me. Um, it's just incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm going to pan around and we'll see what the exposure does. But look at that for an island. Absolutely. It's like, it's like we're in a real life Jurassic Park. I don't know how well you can hear this over the camera, but the shoreline is just littered with uh, seals and elephant seals. Uh, and you can hear their cries. Some of them sound like children. Some of them sound like goats, <laughs> but it's a little bit unnerving. Uh, we've seen a few great whites around the boat uh, as we arrived already. But yeah, great journey. Uh, the, the Pacific was literally as, as flat as a mill pond. 
fantastic journey. I mean, I think with, with all the travelling, we were pretty tired. So um, I think I fell asleep about eight o'clock last night as soon as we'd eaten. Slept for a good solid 10 hours, slept through the whole journey. No issues whatsoever. It is top class. The food is incredible. The staff are amazing. The setup looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next few days. So uh, yeah, um, we're getting in the water in, uh, in about an hour for our first uh, shark dive. So I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. Cheers, see you in a bit.
that is the first morning of shark diving done. And we've just eaten a massive lunch, which is incredible. Richard's about to- uh, I'm so fat now. <laughs> explode. We had mac and cheese, paninis, oh. and soup, and then cookies, and then chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> Food is amazing. So good. Boat. It's insane. And the sharks are even better. They are incredible. Very shark happy. action has been out of this world. Literally, so you see good. them swimming by from the, on the surface. We've done a couple of days, a couple of cage dives so far. Loads of action, huge sharks just swimming by. It's just absolutely unreal. We're very it really happy. is absolutely unreal. So, so cool. <laughs> it looks as well. like there's snow on the hill behind us. <laughs> it's not snowing. <laughs> it's really lovely. Blue Look sky. This is the setting for the day. The cages. Setting for the next three days. Are... I'll show you where the cages are. Like your shark guns. <laughs> getting ready then. the most incredible lunch after three amazing surface cage dives this morning with the with the great whites there are so many sharks here they're, they're here around the cages in great numbers twos threes fours fives but while they're having a quick break i thought i'd show you around the top deck quick so behind me here you've got the uh, the hot tub you look around the bay there's a couple of other shark boats uh cage diving boats up behind me there take you to the back of the boat where all the action's taking place We've been really lucky with the uh, rest of the guests that are on the boat with us this week. Really, really top group of guys. Uh, we've got travellers from Europe, Croatia, uh, Switzerland. We've got a few Americans. 
Really, really gr gr great bunch. Crew are fantastic. The shark wranglers are doing an incredible job. There goes a shark just down there. It's chasing the bait, see it? Absolutely incredible. It's just like this, it's constant. They, they start the wrangling at seven o'clock in the morning, finish at 6 p.m. And it's just sharks constantly. This is constantly, constantly sharks going on. It's absolutely incredible. Any of you guys watching this that have, have always wanted to come to Guadalupe but thought that coming all this way, I don't, no matter where you live in the world, anyone that's thought about coming here but been put off by the, the length of the travel, uh, for what could only be three or four days uh, in the water in the cages. Trust me, it is worth it. I'd, I'd travel to the moon and back to do this. I was one of you people. I kind of, it was one of those kind of things if it's a long way to go, money to spend just for three, three days cage diving. It is absolutely phenomenal and I would definitely, definitely come back and do this again. In fact, there's a guest here. We'll have a chat with him later on, but Andy, he, um, this is his eighth time. This is his eighth time to Guadalupe. Uh, to do shark diving, it's 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 kind of it's one of those trips. I think once you've once you've done it once, that's it. It sucks you in, and uh, you know if you love sharks, this is just at the absolute pinnacle of places to come. So definitely, definitely, put it on your bucket list. Save your pennies. It's absolutely incredible. Morning. It's day three. So a few of the guests on the Socorro Vortex are going to head out on the Penga boat. That's like a, a little rib type outboard boat we've got down here. And they're going to head out over towards the shoreline over there to check out the seals and the elephant seals. And we're going to send the drone up and follow them and see what we can find. So let's go take a look.
are shark diving and we head back to um, Mexico tonight so a long uh, drive back uh, 16 hours or so and um, we get there tomorrow morning so we're just chilling out now gonna get a cocktail amazing day apart from the visibility being a bit iffy it was still amazing so pretty sad to not be going in the water again um, but just an excuse to come back again American friends with some clothes on for a change. Rather I got than, a uh, baby with It's the only shirt I have. But yeah, sad, sad to um, sad to call it the end of the trip. Three days isn't enough. I think we definitely need to do more than three days. I think we all agree with that one, don't we? Yeah. We need, we need longer trips. That's what we oh, need. We're going to campaign for longer trips. Yeah. We need yeah. to be able to take home some of the. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great elephant Ju seal yeah, impression. Jurassic, Jurassic Park Island. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Sad to be going back. Sad to be leaving our newfound American friends and Croatian. And Swiss. <laughs> and Swiss. And Swiss. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Swiss stroke Greek. Well, we left uh, Guadalupe at around about 4.30, 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Uh, it's now about half past one on uh, Thursday. Uh, I think it's Thursday today. Uh, Thursday lunchtime. So we've been traveling for, for a good sort of 20 hours. We're just heading back into Ensenada now. I can see some of the Mexican coastline heading up into the distance behind me was heading back I mean wow what an incredible few days um, we've actually got a uh, government official uh, from the Mexican uh, government on board um, who's here just to make sure the practice is being done properly uh, he's here as a marine biologist sort of like helping to identify sharks and to sort of check the conservation of Guadalupe he's identified 34 different sharks uh, this week alone just absolutely amazing. Um, the boat itself has been incredible. I mean, we've done a lot of liverpools, as I think I said in an earlier vlog. We've done a lot of liverpools, but the food, the staff, the accommodation, the service has just been absolutely amazing. You know, you're constantly being asked if you want anything to eat, want a drink, and they get you anything. It's just been absolutely second, uh, second to none. Absolutely second to none cabins have been absolutely fantastic just i can't rate the quality the service everything high enough i really can't there's not enough words for me to describe it so i'm probably going to sound really boring because i keep repeating myself but wow what a trip really looking forward to putting this article together really looking forward to returning more than anything uh, whether it's back to guadalupe on this boat or whether it's to socorro on this boat but I think if I'm, I'm going to do either of those trips again, I'm 100% going to come on the Socorro Vortex. It's just uh, it's blown blown my mind, it really has. You know, we've, we, we, like I say, we travel a lot, but this has been absolutely up there with some of the best trips. It's worth calling out that the uh, Socorro Vortex or the, the Pelagic Fleet, obviously they've got the submersible cage hangs on the side. They are the only guys that have the Spock, the underwater submersible um, power cage it wasn't available on this trip so it's another reason to return and they're also the only liverpool that have the um, license to run the penga boat to the shoreline to see the seals the fur seals and the elephant seals up close and that was just absolutely brilliant to do We've got some great drone footage as well while we're on the island of the seals and the seal and the um, elephant seals so yeah 
really sad to go back. The week has absolutely flown by. It's been a bit of a whirlwind of a trip. We obviously left the UK on Saturday, flew into LA, then into San Diego. Sunday morning in San Diego, we got on the bus, arrived in Guadalupe Monday, three days of cage diving, left Wednesday night. We're back in Mexico on Thursday, so we'll be back in the UK on the Friday afternoon. I think we land about 3.30 on Friday afternoon, so less than seven days. Water temperature is about 20 degrees, but quite a pleasant 20 degrees when you're wearing a seven mil and thermal underlayers. Food has been crazy great. So yeah, I just, I can't say enough good things about it really. So with that, I'm gonna head for my final lunch downstairs before we get into Ensenada. And uh, yeah, start the journey back. So that's it, the trip is done. We are almost at the port, uh, slow and steady, it seems. Um, we've had an amazing time here in Guadalupe. It's been insane. Is it Guadalupe or Guadalupe? It's Guadalupe. Well, I always thought it was Guadalupe, but everyone's been calling it Guadalupe, so it's Guadalupe. Guadalupe. We've seen 34 different sharks, so we've been told, which is incredible. And 11 have already been identified. So that's amazing that there's that many sharks in three days. Uh, and we've had really nice weather and conditions. We've been told that that doesn't happen every time, so we've been really lucky. And we felt it, there was non-stop action from the minute we got in the water to the minute we got out, so. I couldn't even tell you how many hours I've spent in the cage this week. <laughs> Somewhere around about 13, I think, maybe about 13 hours. Which isn't bad going, considering, uh, we're, like, like Haley says, we're only in the cages for three days. But. As I said earlier in the blog, uh, you know, anyone who's thought about coming here and you've been put off by the amount of travel for the time that you're in the water, don't be. It is worth every single mile you're going to travel. Um, the boat is, I mean, the Socorro Vortex is, is in a completely different league. It's so luxurious. The staff are incredible. The food is amazing. The, food is so the service is outstanding. The quality of the diving and the cages is fantastic there's only three people to a cage only two people in the submersible and yeah it's with only 14 people on the boat you really notice that you really notice the space you know we've been on other boats uh, we went to Socorro on a, on a different boat that had uh and was sleep sleeps 28 but there was more than 28 people on the boat guess wise but uh i think we only had what 10 11 people on the boat this week but even if you had a full charter of 14 you know it's a 140 foot boat it's incredible. The, yeah. the amount of space you've got is, is, is out there. And the rooms are really good and generous. Like the bed is enormous, even in the most, you know, the luxury state rooms, which are at entry price level. There's still loads of room. The bathrooms are spotless, really nicely designed. And we've just had a little sneaky look into the master suite. Oh it's my God, the, the, owner's, the owner's suite, what they call the master suite. If you get a chance to go and stay in that, go and stay in that, because it looks amazing. The shower was as big as our bathroom <laughs> that we had downstairs. We stayed in the Clipperton room, um, but yeah, I mean the, the, the room setup was great, super comfortable, as, as Haley said. When the boat's obviously only new this week, so uh, uh, sorry, the boat's new this year, so it's in its first full season. Um, but yeah, I just I can't I can't rate the boat, the crew, the setup, everything high enough. Yeah, so if anyone's certainly looking to um, come to Guadalupe, to definitely, definitely look on to the Socorro Vortex. Go to Guadalupe for three days. You will be astounded uh, at what's going on there. Um, the Penga boat ride that the Socorro Vortex or the Plagic Fleet have a um, license to do. None of the other boats do. So you can go on the Penga boat ride uh, along the shore, see, see the fur seals, see the uh, elephant seals. Elephant seals. So many of them. Um, if you've got a drone, bring your drone. I've uh, got some great footage of the seals with the drone. I saw a couple of turtles with the drone. Yeah, it's absolutely outstanding. I yeah. definitely, definitely want to come back. I would love to bring some friends out. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it from us for this trip. Um, if you like the vlog, then please click like. And if you want to see any more, hit subscribe. We will be doing And don't forget click that little more. bell icon as well. <laughs> click the bell icon. <laughs> the bell icon to be notified. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and we're sad to be going home um, but on to the next trip. So thanks again and we'll see you soon. Cheers guys. Bye.